big bass days with Labina Lures. Uh, I'm just real excited to get this video time in and show you guys some really cool stuff that's going on. Um, I got Keith Espy here. He is uh, one of the best fishermen, uh, in my opinion, in Arizona. I, I believe he's a legend, and um, he's uh, given us a little bit of time to, uh, you know, share his insight on these lures, and I'm, we're just so grateful to have him. And um, if I could just walk you through some stuff that's going on here, um, we got uh, uh, a lot of stuff that's selling, and these new rods that we got. Um, and some lanyards with the clippers, and we got the Westies, and we got the Ricos, the rear Ricos, and the Swap. And um, you know, we got the classics back, and all the colors that uh, you guys love. With uh, the yellow and black, we got the reds, um, we got the purple and reds. And um, also, I really want to talk about this: is the weedless Westie. It's brand new. It's got Gamagatsu hooks in it. Um, you know, one thing great about the uh, Westie is that the, the worm floats, uh, uh, you know, the tail sticks up. So if you've ever seen a lure on the bottom of the, of the lake, you know, you've got uh, these different other worms, they usually lay flat. And when it's crawling on the bottom of the, of the lake, you usually see the fish will come right up on that, on that lure or that worm. But as soon as you twitch it or it gets snagged and you pop it out of there and that tail comes up, boom, that fish hits it. And a lot of times with the Westie, uh, you know, you, you don't have to really set the hook because it's right there on the back. And the back hook is really all what the Westie is known for and the super float, how it floats up. Um, you know, we really like to use the integrated Westie when it comes to the fish are really dying down. They're not biting very good. This is a real good finesse bait. It's a real good bed uh, lure. Uh, it's very subtle like to use this on light line with a spin cast. Uh, and then, of course, you've got your, your great classic Westies with good jig heads. So when you're fishing cliffs and points and you're going deep, you want to use a, uh, you know, a little bit heavier line. And uh, these, these worms here have uh, been my favorite lure when I was a little kid. I won five tournaments in a row on this lure. So I'm real passionate about Westie. I'm working with uh, Jennifer, uh, me and her are running strong, and uh, we're going to continue to come out with your favorite classics. And uh, I just want to mention real quick, uh, we've got these uh, lanyards with the clippers so when you're on the boat you can tie and retie your line real fast. And we're running a promotion with the Westy casting rod. It's a great rod, it's a versatile rod, 6 8 not too long, not too short. It's got a really, it's got a lot of flex to it, so you can, you can throw uh, crankbaits and topwater lures. So uh, it's a very versatile rod. And what I want to do for guys is I want to come out with this in a spin cast. And what I'd like to do is uh, basically provide a really good uh, rod to fishermen that's uh, as good as a G Loomis that basically is only $90. And so I want to get uh, help guys get some really good equipment on their boat so they can feel the fish hit. And uh, um, what we're going to do is the, uh, the rods cost 200 online. Right now they're going for 90 And uh, we've got these new Westie shirts. And what we're doing is if you catch a big bass on, with, with a Westie worm or a Rico and you hold that fish up with a Westie shirt, we're giving away a free rod to anybody who can give me that picture. And uh, I, I'm going to give it to, to Keith for a little bit, and I just want to ask him a couple questions. Just, what's your experience with the Westy Worm? And, you know, I just really appreciate everything. I've been using Westy Worms for probably a better part of 35 years now. I've won, I can't even tell you how much money on the Westy Worm. These classic Westies with the open hooks, is what I've been throwing for 35 years. It is a finesse bait, but most finesse baits you can't catch large limits of bass on. You might catch one, you might catch two, but I've weighed 20 to 30 pounds on these baits many times and won thousands of dollars on these baits. I've been fishing them for decades. I can't say enough about these 
I, I'm so happy they're coming back out with this because there is not another bait on the market like this. Like he was saying, like Carl was saying, when that tail floats up, a crawdad, when a fish comes to a crawdad, they raise their pitchers. And that's a defense mechanism for a crawdad. When that tail is raised up off the bottom of the lake for a westy worm, it's easy for that fish to hit it. They do nose up on it, and they grab that bait, and they're instantly hooked on that back hook right now. Yeah, it's great. And you don't even feel the fish sometimes. It's deep. You don't feel the fish. A lot of times you'll go to reel in, you'll just feel some pressure. And, and you just bring that fish up. You don't even really have to set the hook super hard. They got nice, uh, sharp hooks. The, the, the back hook in a Westie is a light hook, so it can bring that tail up. Um, that's why there's a light hook. And uh, with the weedless Westie now, the one thing good about this is you can slow down. And with the Classic, you have to keep it moving, otherwise you lose it because it's got exposed hooks. It's a worm that's a lure. It's the only worm that's a lure, so when the fish hits it, it's hooked. With the with the weedless Westie, you can slow down, work it through the trees, so you get a little bit more options. And for the guys who, uh, you know, lose a lot, uh, this is going to be great, great addition. I just want to say one thing about the Rio Rico. This is my favorite Rio Rico, and um, also we we both throw this Rio Rico. Uh, I think uh, because it represents a good shad, uh, I think when the shad get up to the top of the water, a lot of times their red gills will stick out and they're still trying to swim. And this color has stood the test of time. Um, it's my favorite one. I really recommend going out, throwing this. I recommend throwing the Westie on points. I recommend throwing some sweet beavers um, and uh, throwing some stuff like some cicadas and, and, I, and be versatile on each spot. And if, if you slow down and shut the trolling motor off in the graph, fish some parallel banks, and what you're, what you're gonna find is if, if the fish don't hit some of these lures, keep moving, keep moving. Hit a lot of spots, you know, cover a lot of water, and you're gonna get some big fish. I mean, yeah, the, any one of the Westy worms, integrated, uh, the weedless, the classic, you can fish them straight down below the boat, right under the graph. You can watch the fish on the graph. You can drop that worm right in front of them and watch them come up on your graph when yeah. you catch them. It's a classic way to fish this bait. It's a great bait to fish just straight down below the boat and just doodle sock it. Just kind of work that bait right in front of that fish. We've been doing that for decades with this lure. I'm so glad they're coming back out with these things. I can't even tell you how excited I am to start fishing these things again in tournaments. Hey, one, th one thing real quick, I want to introduce is Jennifer and Tracy. They're, they're sporting the, wet, the new Westie shirts, and uh, I just think they look great. And, um, you know, right now these things are going. Also, like I said, if you catch a big fish with this shirt on, you get a free rod as long as you take a picture and find me on Facebook. Um, right now, if you go on my Facebook page, um, you know, this is a 13-pounder I caught um, on the Westie worm. We got a 12 and a half pounder caught right here. Um, and then right here, you know, you can find me on YouTube. If you type in Carl Bobby or Westy Worms, you can find me on YouTube. And I'm on Facebook, and then you can connect right to Lubina Lures or Hookup, and you can get some of these Westies online. Okay? So we just really, we just really are grateful for this opportunity at Big Bass Days. There was a seven and a half pounder just caught. So, um, you know, things are getting real exciting. The, the band's awesome. They're doing a great job with uh, uh, cover, cover songs. It's a good party out here, you know, and uh, a lot of good barbecues. So I just uh, hope you guys uh, can come out to the next one. We'll be here. And uh, I just want to thank uh, Keith Espy. For coming out and it's exciting to be out here with great fish friends such as Keith. And Bill Luke for hosting such a wonderful event and Shake Rattle and Trolls for all the promotions and things they do for us at Don Fidelity.